which one do you guys like? This one? That is the biggest one. Or uh -huh. this one? Or this one? I'm always looking for a mortar and pestle that is made of rock where I can do all my herbs and spices and guacamoles inside. So we're gonna go for that one and I'll come home and I'll use it in front of you guys. She said we have to cure it, so I'll show you guys how we do that. All right, I'm back here from Mexico, and I got a handful of rice I'm gonna put inside of the mortar and pestle. We're gonna cure it, because there's so many pits and crevasses and canyons in the rock that every time I blend up an herb, I'll get tons of rock in my food, which is probably good minerals, but we're gonna cure it with the rice using the method that the woman who sold it to me told me to do. So we're gonna use our rock, both sides of it, so that this gets cured as well. Take the rice and just start going to town until every crack and every pit fills with rice powder. And then we're gonna go to step two. So I'll be here for the next 45 minutes. Okay, I've been here for six hours putting the rice into powder. <laughs> just kidding, not that long. But I'm kind of moving it around so that the powder can kind of fill into every crack on the sides and the bottom. I'm flipping the rock to both sides so that both sides get filled in with rice powder and some of the minerals. Now you can see how it's kind of more smooth and everything's kind of filled in. So we're gonna seal it with oil. We're gonna put some oil in there and then we're gonna put it in the oven for 20 minutes on like 300. I'm gonna sprinkle, sprinkle some more powder on this rock. The woman said use olive oil or any kind of oil. She didn't specify how to put the oil in. I'm just gonna try to spray it. With the coconut oil. I'm guessing I don't wanna leave any dry pockets, so I'm kind of coating it all so it all gets nice and wet. And then I guess I'm gonna just throw it in the rack and like a kiln for a clay pot. I'm gonna just put this right here. Put that right there and come back in 20 minutes. 20 minutos. All right, you guys, 20 minutes is up. Let's see how it looks. It looks the exact same. <laughs> I'm gonna let this cool down and we'll see if something happens with the, the oil to cure it and I'll let you guys see the final result and how it works in about an hour from now. All right guys, it's pretty cooled off now. It's still kind of warm, but you can see how it's kind of changed. It looks like a lot of the crevices and pits are gone, filled in by rice flour. The rock looks pretty good. And I can imagine that I'm gonna do this like two or three more times just to make sure that I get it really seasoned well. And I'm excited to use this. So when you guys subscribe to my channel here at Vegan Athlete, I do future food videos here in the kitchen. I'll be using this mortar and pestle for herbs and for foods and to make myself the healthiest food I can. Uh, for now, I'm gonna get back to my mango. I hope you guys hit the bell button below and turn on the notifications and subscribe to my channel here. Hit the like button for me and uh, go vegan. And grow your food at home. And I'll see you guys back here next time. Mmm, mango.